The company announced Friday that sales increased by 11.3% in 2007, while prices remained constant when it might have been accepted, expected for them to fall. So um, for maximum parallelism, we would want to say something about the prices in both parts of the sentence. While prices, prices remained constant when the prices might have been expected to fall. So we want something along those lines. Um, so it might have been expected is passive and unnecessarily wordy. It's not grammatically incorrect, but it, the GMAT definitely prefers that you not do these things when more grammatically correct options are available. Um, it might have been expected that they should fall. Should would be out of place here because it implies obligation. The prices were not obligated to fall. Same thing with their fall might have been expected. Grammatically correct, but the shift in subject makes it less parallel. If we leave it with they, namely the prices, might have been expected to fall, we have parallel construction uh, where the prices are the subjects of each of the sentences as opposed to changing it to their fall. Um, and then there might have been an expectation they would fall is very, very hypothetical and very wordy, leaving us with choice B.